So the main problem is this square was in the way and I tried to cut around it rather than just taking the square off. And then that way I could lay down the tile in a continuous pattern. So I just took this off and now I'm gonna lay the tile one on top of the other and just continue on rather than try to cut around things. So I think it's gonna come out much better. It is looking so much better now. I'm extremely happy that I decided to go back and redo it. I know that if I hadn't redone it, then I, there would be some point in time where I looked back on it and I just hated myself for not being able to do it right when I had the chance. And all that to say is if you're going to do a job, you better do the job right. What's going on y'all? I hope that you're having a wonderful day. My name is Jonathan Yench and thank you very much for tuning in to yet another episode of the Truck Camper Renovation Series. Now as you guys saw in that little introduction montage, I went ahead and I redid the kitchen backsplash that was on the window and well, I guess that footage pretty much speaks for itself. Let's just hop into Truck Camper Renovation part number six. Part number six. Damn, we're already on part six. Oh man. All right, let's get it. Some of you guys in my last video pointed out that rather than sealing the new screws with the elastic caulk that I was using, you guys suggested that instead I use these bonded neoprene washers and they basically just have this little rubber gasket on them. So we're going ahead and swapping all those screws to get a more watertight seal. Tessa's doing a great job. Just finishing up uh, swapping out the old screws for the new ones with the bonded washers. <laughs> I would have finished this yesterday, but I actually ran out of the little bonded washers. So that's why I'm finishing this up now, but I'm actually done. So now it's on to the next thing, finally. Finally moving on from these damn screws. Now the plan is I'm going to, so I, I wanna put the cabinets back on, but the hardware is silver that I got and I'd rather have it be black because I just think that it'll look nicer against the gray. So I'm going to spray paint all of the hardware and after that, I'm gonna put the cabinets back on. And I'm also going to be preparing the floor to put a new floor in. I'm preparing the subfloor to put a new floor in, I should say. So see how there's this layer of, well, I don't know what this is, honestly. I think it's like adhesive that bonded to the linoleum flooring that they had on there. And since I'm gonna be putting in new flooring, I need to have like a completely flat and smooth surface to work with. So I'm gonna try to get that off. You'll see how I'm going to attempt that. All right, let's get to spray painting. <laughs> Haven't worn this baby in a while. No, no photographs unless you pay me. No. Give me a kissy. Get, get. Give me a kissy. No, that's my joke. Give me Stop. a kissy. No. Give me a kissy. Well, my viewers say I should be nicer to you. Mm-hmm. I agree. I'm no, sorry. I'm, if, <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm ever mean to you. No, you guys, it's just all banter. It's all fun and games. It's just locker room banter. We make fun of each other all the time. Off the camera, she punches me, so. On camera, too. Okay, it was uh, it's 
it's kind of unnecessary to put on this heavy duty mask for that small amount of spray painting. You'll see Johnny 200 feet away. But I'm away. COVID He'll safe too. Hey, hey, mask hey. You'll never see. <laughs> Whatever. Thank you, kind sir. I shall cherish these for all my life. Thank you. Thank you. Take a shot every time Johnny slaps something. And I'm a very face. handsy person, okay? Sorry. I swear, every single video, you'd like slap something. Let me You're live. Like, let's go. I Ready. Stop. Let's now, go. Well, don't you realize the phrases I use? Like, slap her on, slap some of that on, slap that on. It's just like, bam. You just like slap it. Bam, like face. Emerald. Bam. Not that. Tessa's leaving for work. Thanks for helping to today. Didn't do much, but you're welcome. Yeah, but you're here for moral support, and you did help a lot. Oh, thanks, man. Cheers, my burrito. Knuckle tap. Ooh, burrito tap. Okay, bye. I actually touch it. Love you. Love you, too. Ben, you want some too, Ben? Huh? Ben, come here, Ben. Jackie, go. Come here, Ben. Here you go, little buddy. Here you go, pal. Oh, good boy. Good puppy. <laughs> I just want to point out how funny I think it is that the inside of the cabinets are still all old and vintage looking. And I don't know if you guys remember, but at the very beginning of all this, I said I wasn't going to go all out and do, I quote, one of those fancy van builds. Probably not going to go as overboard as a lot of these new age sprinter vans and all the cool crazy vans that people are converting just because I want to get it done with and out of the way or something like that. And so here I am all this time later with subway tile kitchen trying to make it like one of those fancy van builds. But basically, originally I had intended on not doing that much. So I was like, yeah, screw it. I'm just gonna leave the inside of the cabinets the way they are. And now it just looks like it really stands out. Especially this part. This part looks really bad. Oh well, the cabinet doors have been off of the actual cabinets for so long and just lying around the camper. So as you could see, there's like all these chip marks where paint got scuffed and there's dirt and they're actually kind of nasty now. So I'm definitely gonna have to go back and touch those up again. So the cabinets are looking really good. Like I said, I actually have to add some touch up paint just to make them look like Perfecto and I'm gonna hold off on adding these cabinets back on just because I want to get to preparing the subfloor to lay down a new floor on top of it. I don't know if I'll be able to do all the prep work today, but hopefully I could get a lot of it done. Now originally I actually tried to get that crap off of the floor by sanding it. I tried to use like a scraper and scrape it off, but it just wasn't working. Even with like a heavy duty sander, it would have taken me like a solid 10 hours of just sanding away because I don't know what it is, but it's just, it's really stuck on there. 
So that's why I'm freaking out this bad boy. I don't, I don't know if it's going to work exactly, but fingers crossed that it does the trick. All right, it's actually working pretty well so far. Uh, the only caveat being it's creating somewhat of an uneven surface on the subfloor, but obviously I planned on sanding the entire floor down afterwards anyways, just to get the surface as smooth as possible before applying the new flooring. By the way, I already know that there's gonna be people in the comments saying, well, that was stupid. There was so many other ways you could have done that. You could have done this, you could have done that, but I'm winging it, all right? This is the best idea that I got, so kept me some slack. I think it's time to put this baby on. Lots of dust particles and crap flying everywhere. After playing around with it a little bit more, I'm realizing that the sander, the sander can work all along. Um, I was just, it, I had to switch up my method a little bit, but the sander's doing a really good job, so I don't even think I'm gonna need the angle grinder anymore, luckily, because it wasn't working anyways. And I think this is gonna actually be a lot quicker this way. So this just goes to show you, you just gotta experiment, play around, try new things. If you have an idea, go for it. If it doesn't work out, you know, you learn from your mistakes. Whew. It's beautiful outside right now. All right, I think that's it for the day. Um, I'll see you guys back here tomorrow morning, all right? Actually gonna switch over to my iPhone to film so this camera doesn't get covered in dust like it did yesterday because this camera is much more valuable to me and if my phone breaks oh well Mike Rowe, where are you at? So much sawdust. That was more sawdust than I could ever imagine. beer with my lunch because that was such a painstaking bullshit job. Cheers. Mmm. That's really tasty. It's very malty and I don't know, German tasting. It's good. Mmm. Ah, hits the spot. Subfloor is looking 
pretty good so far, but I do still have to come in and do one more final sanding just to get all of the wood at a nice even surface. I did get all of the residue off, which is kind of a relief because I wasn't sure exactly how I was gonna do it, but we got it done. Many tears <laughs> and a lot of pain later, we got it done. All right, folks, and with that, I'm actually going to be ending the video here. I have a funny feeling that the video is getting quite long at this point, so we're gonna get back to laying the actual floor in the next episode. Like always, thank you guys very much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and maybe even consider subscribing. You guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Go out there, go on some adventures, live life, beat the status quo. You already know how to do all that fun stuff. I look forward to seeing you guys back here very soon in the next video. Peace. I tried to switch up the classic outro to peace, so I don't know if it worked. Don't make fun of me. All right, see ya.